Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, I'm Captain Gamer, and let's play Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. We are making some good progress, trying to find the uh, president's daughter. A man named Lewis has pointed us in what we believe to be the right direction, and that direction leads us back to the village. And we are on our way to the village after having been knocked out by the quote-unquote big cheese of the Ganados, or whatever their organization and or cult may be called. And um, from the last episode, we got... We obtained a treasure map, and these stars right here, those indicate where there are treasures. And let's see if these treasures really do off-balance the 3,000 pesetas we paid to get them. So it seems like we are in a whole new area, yeah? Got to be careful. And in delaying going inside the area, let's just go ahead and pick up some items. Empty barrels. Whenever I, whenever I break something open and there's nothing inside, it reminds me of Bioshock. That game is full of containers that have nothing in them. Okay... Leroy Kennedy! Oh. Nobody came right out at us at the start. That is a good sign. First open this barrel to get the pesetas inside, and that... I can only imagine that is a treasure. So we're gonna have to find our way in, going a roundabout route. I look forward to that at the end of this little stretch. Bang! Don't take the lead, buddy. Oh, there he is. I, I don't know why he said like that. That probably is sort of what he's saying. There, there he is. There's the intruder. There's the uh, American agent. Whoa! Ow! And that's why I am so afraid of uh, hatchets. Because they deal a lot of damage. With one throw. All right, this calls for some precision stun. Wow, you took how many shots and now you're gone. Now you're gone. <laughs> Looks like my yellow herbs aren't going to remain trapped for very long at this rate. Oh, more rifle ammo. Maybe I should be uh, using the rifle. Yeah, I, I have two ammo packs of it, why not? Although, I don't really have a distance advantage in this area. So I might not- it might not be in my best interest to rifle up. Give me that. Thank you. And, for whatever reason, in case we don't want to break the window with our jump, we can just knife it. But it's just cooler when you do it like that. Yeah! It's all about the sounds it makes. Uh-oh. We have a standoff right here. Whoops. Did he actually hurt the other people? Yes, he did. All right, I'm gonna fire, fire with fire, or grenade with grenade, and completely waste the grenade. You live and you learn, huh? I'm just gonna take out these dog traps, which don't even spring on the Ganados. How does that work? Physics! Help me out here. Come on. I think Ganados gain HP marginally as it go as time goes on. And it'll take more to take them out. Uh-oh! More dog traps. Actually, I think they're called bear traps. And you don't think I see you there clipping through the door? I wish I could do something about it, but... You know, using a grenade on you would be kind of wasteful. So I'm gonna move over here so you reveal yourself, or maybe you're just gonna keep on standing there. Oh man! Oh yes! That is one thing about the uh, sickles, that you can shoot them out of the air and just avoid having to dodge them. Nope! Come on! Uh, 
Okay, fine. I'll use a different weapon. I don't. I don't think it's a very. It's a very commonly recorded instance where people run out of handgun ammo and residue. Yeah. Close range. I wouldn't exactly call that point blank. Maybe, maybe that. Maybe that counts as medium range. Anyways, those were some ouchies, and I want to deprive myself of the opportunity to ouch all the more. Gonna not reload my rifle, just in case I have another opportunity to upgrade its capacity. With, with uh, weapons like the shotgun and the handgun, you're gonna be using them so much in common encounters. Oh, I found a spinal in here. By complete accident. Although, as I left the map, I probably would have checked this. And... Oh no, spinals don't register as treasures. That's, uh... That's kind of paranoia-inducing. Yeah, the, uh, the handgun and the shotgun, they're gonna be used kind of often in a typical playthrough, unless you don't want to use either of them. So those, you can, you'll just, uh, reload right away. The rifle, it has specialized use. So, you can sort of hold off on reloading it, and the off chance, you get a chance to do this sort of expert-free reload. And this is the treasure that we saw at the beginning of this area. It is an elegant mask. Certainly looks elegant. Something uh, La Mariposa from Dead or Alive would use. Just a random association. Because of the 3DS, I associate Resident Evil Dead or Alive, and uh, Metal Gear, because of the 3DS, and that's just how great of a launch that had. Now what am I even talking about anymore? Yes, I will take the green herb, and I think I will just take this opportunity to increase my health, because I already have one, two, three, four sources of full healing. I think I can be forgiven, and how much health did that even raise? Did I do something wrong? I really, really hope not. That didn't seem to be a really big raise of HP at all. I still have one, two, three, four, five hit points. Oh well. May maybe that's just how the yellow herbs work. They give you very marginal upgrades. And let me see if I missed any treasures on the way down here. Ah, uh, nope. Looks like I am just advancing naturally as the game would intend. Ah, darn. Let's see if I can give you a little bit of sniperish love here. Doesn't look like he has any long range weapons to hit me with. No, he did not. Good for me. Now, what's down here? Because I just have a feeling there's going to be treasures down under. Oh, we got ammo, a flash grenade, and some pesetas. Let's take a look at the flash grenade. Well, a flash grenade, it's... If you've played any of your big, high-octane blockbusters, you'll know what a flash grenade does. It, you know, it explodes in a blinding flash that stuns people. And it's going to have much more utility than that. Later on, we will see. And now I am in the middle of water with a whole bunch of fish. And if uh, the Resident Evil tradition of shooting wildlife has holds any water, uh -huh, let's see here. Oh, it it turned into a black bass. And the black bass is huge! Look at this thing! Um, can I examine it from here? See if it's, uh, worth anything? Arp. Examine... Restores health completely? Oh, wow! I, I guess, given how easy it is to obtain one, the size can be justified. So, um, Let's take it with us! Uh, I'm gonna move, do a little bit of moving around. Mm, right here. And then you can go down here. And I now have a fish in my case. Wonder, wonder if the merchant will buy it for a high price. 
Because the next time I heal myself completely, I am going to use the yellow herb that I have in reserve. That's a lesson I learned the hard way. Combine one yellow herb with a green herb, and then just be done with it. Get your health boost, and that's it. Okay. I am now at the top of the area. And the treasure should be directly to my left. Well, that wasn't very mysterious. Oh. I was half expecting there to be a Ganado shouting at my presence. But there was not. Fantastic. Oh, it's that signpost again. Alright, a box. Let's see what's inside. More rifle ammo! Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to get into a habit of reloading my rifle now. Because my attache case is getting filled up with rifle ammo. Does this signpost mean more booby traps? I love how Leon's understanding of these signs sort of evolves the more he uh, looks at them. Gotta wonder what'll happen next when he sees another one. That was interesting. I actually got Wii Remote lag right there. Wanted to reload my gun, and instead it just took it as nothing, and then random swipes. Okay, is there anything else in this area worth noting? I suppose not. Or maybe there is? Uh, no, there is not. So, how close are we to the village? Uh, we have one more winding path over here, and then we will be back at the village. Cool. Alright, any, any sort of jump scares? Uh, no, there's not. Let's check this out. It is a large crystal ball. It looks like it rotates. Which way will you turn it? Okay, um, to the left. Oh, oh, check that out. If there's actually an emblem in there or something. Turn it up. Hmm. Gonna just uh, muck around a little bit. Oh, I think I see what's going on. You see those uh, icons down there at the bottom? Yep. The uh, the two icons, so the lower left and the lower right. I was supposed to get the icon in the middle to match them. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I can get behind that. Something activated. I'm guessing that si that signal has some sort of importance somewhere. Mm hmm. Anything out here? I can't even break these windows. Bulletproof glass. In fact, this whole place is really nice. This must be some sort of head honchos area or something that I stumbled upon in this completely random part of town. Oh well. More handgun ammo? Of course. My question is, what are all of these villagers doing with all this handgun ammo? Oh, I got the insignia key. So this is an insignia for something. I guess I can't examine this picture. And I have already completely forgotten what I was talking about. They are all textbooks written in English. But I don't have time to read them. Aw, uh, really? I can... Oh, a chief's note. As instructed by Lord Settler, I have the agent in confinement, alive. Oh, must be talking about when the big guy took me down. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together, as as has been ordered. I don't expect Lewis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. Oh, so Lewis could have been working with the Ganados and stuff? Or maybe he's a rogue from the Ganados, I don't know. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. That's a really direct foreshadowing, isn't it? But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface, if they even exist, that is. That's a little bit too much speculation for there not to be a third party involved. Unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already amongst us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. 
At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always. Interesting. So, there has to be a controversy going on. I wonder if this is Lord Saddler. Because this seemed to be from the diary of the big guy who, you know, manhandled Leon. Was there a save point I missed? Ah, uh, no, there was not. In fact, I seem to be trying to head out the wrong door. I think. Oh, let's just go for it. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood. Well, that was interesting. They carry the same blood, and I'm already done with chapter 1-2, I guess. Chapter 1-1 one, one was kind of a big start to the game. So, next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 4, Wii Edition, we are going to continue back on our way to finding the President's daughter. Until then, game out.